So I'm Charlie Gavigan and I'm with Brave Your Day. This morning what we've done is we've brought together all the people that have been involved in our bravery programme over the last 18 months and these are the facilitators and the coordinators and the coaches and also the organisations that have been prominent in the, the, the work that we've been doing. This morning is that we can, I suppose, unpack metaphorically what we've been doing. It's the, the sheet that we had made, which is obviously your standard feel of life. 18 months we've been running a workshop programme um, of five sessions along with matched uh, bravery coaching to support um, staff to be self-leaders and to also um, be far more confident in their, their outlook and their approach to being person-centred. They've been, they've said it's kind of been unexpectedly powerful and wonderful and that they've opened up in ways that they would not have dreamed doing. Um, so I think there's definitely been that power in those conversations and bringing people together in that way. Um, and I think it does help people look at, okay, you know, what is leadership? Who am I at work? Who am I at home? Who am I as a whole person? And how does that sort of weave in to my life, my work, my narrative? So I think that's just been a real revelation to people that they get to open up and be more of their whole, their whole selves, their whole of who they are. Um, the, the, the idea was to, to look at alternative ways that workforce could be supported um, when they're supporting the people that they work for and um, to have more choice and control. I think my journey has been that I was involved in the Sherpa Union. I was just an individual who attended the groups and I kept going back to work and sort of saying, oh, we're doing this and we're doing that and this has helped me do this and this has helped me do that. So, and as an organisation, we were looking at a number of sort of prominent areas which were leadership, person-centeredness, values. We'd done, a, we'd done a lot of groundwork, foundation work, but we realised as an organisation for people to move forward in their roles, we had to look at those main areas. For me personally, um, the coaching came at a time in my life where, in my professional life, where I'd, I'd been in a job for 10 years and I was ground down totally. I had no work-life balance and I made the decision to move to this new leadership role and I had a real crisis of, of self-confidence and, and needing to rediscover the skills that I had, the experience that I had and, and the personal qualities that I, I could bring to my leadership role. Um, so when I think about my experiences with the people that I worked with, um, it's, it's them having the time and the space to articulate what's happening for them, to explore maybe things that they're dreaming of or that they've got in the back of their mind that they might want to do but haven't really dared to let themselves do. Um, and it's not just about work. In fact, work, I would say, is just a small part of the conversations that we've had. It's about people thinking about their family, um, their aspirations, the, their hobbies, all the different parts of themselves and, and really bringing that into the conversation. So my clients have come with a very predefined path and struggling with you know, how to, to get there because they're doing the same, trying to travel the same route. And so when they actually hear themselves go through that, their thoughts about that same route, it's then realising that actually there are other ways of doing things. So holding that space for someone to come up with those new ideas, be creative and, and challenge that actually the destination may be the same but the path can be different and allowing that path to be something different is is a kind of a, you know, part of coaching.